Hello friends, we have implemented programs where till now we have used single class in my program. Now it may happen that in my application there are multiple classes which exist simultaneously. So if I have multiple classes in my application then there may be some relationship between them. So there are two types of relationships in C++ that we can have between different classes. One is called as has a kind of relationship and other one is called as is a kind of relationship. So has a kind of relationship is implemented using containment and is a kind of relationship is implemented using inheritance. So in this particular video we are going to talk about the inheritance which is is a kind of relationship. Now why inheritance is called as is a kind of relationship if I consider suppose different classes like vehicle class is there, two wheeler class is there and four wheeler class is there. Then between these three classes vehicle class is a generic class and two wheeler or four wheeler the, those are the specific classes so i can say that every two wheeler is a vehicle every four wheeler is a vehicle but opposite is not true every vehicle is not a two wheeler or every vehicle is not a four wheeler so because i can define using is a phrase this relationship i can define using is a phrase i can say that every two wheeler is a vehicle so that's why inheritance is called as is a kind of relationship now in this particular scenario i can i can call vehicle as a base class or parent class or super class and i can call the two wheeler as a child class or derived class or a subclass now depending on the implementation there are different types of inheritance so first type is single level inheritance so suppose if i have Two classes class a is there class b is there and b class is inheriting the a class then it is called as single level inheritance then multiple multi-level inheritance is there so if i have three classes a b c b class is inheriting the a class and c class is inheriting the b class then it is called as multi-level inheritance so single level inheritance is there and multi-level inheritance is there now under, uh, now under single level inheritance there are different subtypes again so there are three subtypes under single level inheritance so first one is single inheritance single inheritance means again a class is there b class is there and class b is inheriting the class a then hierarchical inheritance is there hierarchical inheritance means a class is there which is parent class and there are more than one child so there are two children suppose b and c which are which are inheriting the a class then this is called as hierarchical inheritance then third type is multiple inheritance multiple inheritance means there are more than one base classes so if i have three classes like a b c a and b are base classes or parent classes and c class is inheriting from a and b so that is multiple inheritance now apart from that there is one more special category of inheritance which is called as diamond inheritance. Diamond inheritance means there are four classes say A, B, C, D where A is a parent most class, B and C classes are inheriting a common class A and again D is a one class which is inheriting from B and C. So D is a common child for B and C. So this thing is called as diamond inheritance diamond inheritance falls under the category of multi-level inheritance so now let's implement simple type of inheritance which is single inheritance under single level category so to implement inheritance first of all let me create one separate directory say mkdir inheritance now i am creating separate directory because i can implement huge hierarchy of inheritance and there will be many classes so each class is divided into different header file and source file. So overall hierarchy will contain n number of files along with the main function in separate file. So let me store all the files for some particular hierarchy in one separate directory. So here I will implement hierarchy of employee. So I will implement two classes. One is employee class and other is wage employee class. Now employee class will have data members like ID will be there, the name will be there for employee and salary will be there. So ID, name, salary, these are the data members that I will take inside the employee class. Now employees are of different types, like there are some employees which are paid on hourly basis. 
there are some employees which are having fixed salary per month so depending on type of employee they are categorized into different derived classes so i will implement one derived class which is wage employee for the employee class so wage employees are employees which are being paid on hourly basis so i will take two data members in the wage employee class one is hours and another one is rate so hours is number of hours that wage employee is working and rate is per hour rate for that employee so for this overall hierarchy i will create four different files so i will create employee.h then i will create employee.cpp for the declaration and definition of the employee class then i will create wage employee.h and i will create wage employee.cpp apart from that there will be one more file for main function so that will be main.cpp now in the employee.h i will declare class employee so class employees there class employees having integer id then character name and integer salary for this employee class i will write three functions rather for any class which i am implementing in this inheritance hierarchy i will write three functions one is default constructor then parameterized constructor so parameterized constructor will take arguments integer id then name will be character pointer and salary will be integer and one more function i will implement which is display function to display the information so this will be the declaration of employee class now let me write let me declare a wage employee class also so this class wage employee is inheriting the employee class now how to mention that in the declaration if i want to inherit some class then here i will give colon and after that first i have to write the mode of declaration so you can you can have three different modes of modes of inheritance public private and protected but most of the times we will take mode of inheritance as public only so i will say public here and then i will write the name of the base class since base class is employee here which is include which is declared inside employee.h i have to include employee.h now in this class i will take data members like hours and rate so int hours and int rate i will take here and the same functions i will declare default constructor will be there parameterized constructor parameterized constructor now will take all the five parameters because hours and rate they are directly declared inside wage employee class but apart from that other data members like id name and salary they are getting inherited from the employee class so here i have to pass all the five parameters i will pass all the five parameters not i have to pass so int id then cast our name then integer salary and two more integers for hours and rate and display function i will write now before writing the definitions for employee class and wage employee class i will i will check the sizes of both the classes that i have created so inside the main function i will print size of employee and size of wage employee so here it will be see out size of employee and size of wage employee now i will include here wage employee dot h hash include wage employee dot h now once i have included wage employee dot h the employee dot h is automatically included because wage employee dot h contains the employee dot h so in the class declaration employee and wage employee at the end i have to give semicolon so i, I will cross check that once and then i will compile it okay so now let me compile so while compiling i need to compile only main.cpp only because header files are not supposed to be compiled 
so I will say G++ main dot cpp okay let me go inside the inheritance folder g plus plus main dot cpp hyphen o say emp is the name of the executable see out endl was not declared it is because of i did not include the io stream so here i will say hash include io stream using namespace std so it is compiled successfully and when i run it size of employee is 28 bytes and size of wage employee is 36 bytes this is because in employee we have three data members four bytes for id 20 bytes for name and four bytes for salary so 4 plus 20 plus 4 28 bytes and here in wage employee those 28 bytes which are inherited from employee they will be there plus these 8 bytes so 28 plus 8 36 bytes will be the size of wage employee class so it is printing it correctly so now implementation of definitions of the member functions is remaining for employee class and wage employee class we are supposed to write uh, definitions for default constructor parameterized constructor and display function so that implementation we will continue with that implementation in the next video so thanks for watching this video and please do subscribe to my channel thank you